Ndi pa yeke nani mwono wazo. Enu bosi yuvudu chita ata. Talo nukono si. Wene sola ili ya neme. Na yista nis 24. Ay sinko ya chiri ya zelo. Ay suka nubo sinko ta aduro na manono ya liki ya chiri. Ya chada guwa guwa tuwa ya kuro tuwa kwa ya derele. Ise. 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 E tata buko abo bosi. E 16th of January. 2024. I will tell you if I know about morning tea in Iraq. But stomach up your friend, Prime Minister, before we say the whole be a France about the database um registration. Now, I'm gonna you again. See, you know, see me again. See, call one leggy. Uh, oh, we're seeing no we for work. I see in the case where may all the dinner. Monopoly from my big way. Why men you see, could not want to. Wee geya bife, unu gese, una dropo, comment yunu. Masa makienda ni ino kugase. It's over to you. Your nationality, somewhere in Europe, you are qualified and over qualified to have your Biafra ID card. So you are going to apply and have it. If, if, you, made the, if you meet the, uh, the requirement, especially on the, um, uh, of course, uh, on your support for Biafra liberation. That is for ID card. Okay, the article is, the, the is not given to any other person who have not supported the affair. Am I, am I correct? The article team, sorry, hold on, please. Uh, the identity card, uh, every beer friend is entitled to the regular identity card. But as to the special status, those that have been supporting the liberation is entitled to the special status. Okay. All right. Yeah, noted, 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 and supported because uh, we can't be talking about freedom, freedom without putting our financial support because freedom comes with a lot of sacrifice and financial support. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, PM. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Good evening. Okay. Yeah. Um, good evening, everybody. Good evening, uh, my PM and uh, all the media. Yeah. Please, my question is uh, we that are living in a new world and we have family here, and uh, can we apply with our family in the land or only the ones here to avoid, uh, um, I don't know, confusion or so? That's my question. Thank you very much. I want us to understand that it's what, what we call family members. Family members is not uh, your sisters according to European standard. Family members are your wife and your children. So when you are making the application, we are, it is not for you to list who is your sibling, like who is your sister or your brother. It's for you to list who is your uh, your wife or your children and stuff like that. Of course, I don't know if there are uh, or options for uh, listing siblings or you know some special special. Yes. Okay. There are yes, options. There, there are options. Yes. Okay, and that is and that is just for the verification 
to know that the person oh. is there. Yeah. Uh, that is also under uh, data collection, you know, extended families, it falls under the extended families for record All right. Okay. All right. So, but of course, you are not going to apply for your own extended family. Uh, you only apply for yourself. And of course, why making the application, the questions of uh, the extended families uh, is, for, is for us to know that you are a Biafra. That is the family tree, like the chairman, uh, Professor Shoma. Uh, Chairperson Professor, Professor Shoma explained uh, during her uh, uh, speech. So it is for us to see and verify your identity and know your family tree and all that. So, but uh, on the other, uh, on the issue of uh, ID card application, uh, I believe uh, we need to go through that standard of uh, family uh, members uh, to be what we define the family members uh, to be. Uh, you know, uh, there should be your 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 wife and your children. You know, but uh, I think Uche and Co. You need to look into that. Yeah, if the extended family is just for the verification, that is understandable. But uh, we need to uh, define that uh, family member or redefine it in order in a way to suit our culture as well. If that is if that if it is just to suit our culture, then we can. Design it to suit our culture, and of course, it should be approved in the extended family. Because we, we are practicing a standard family system, and that has been our culture from time immemorial. So, with that being said, the extended family can be a family member uh, in our application. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good evening, Prime Minister. Good evening, Minister of Information. I don't know if I'm coming out loud and clear. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, my question um, goes uh, in the de facto government where we are. Um, concerning the ID card, we have not uh, you know, connected to our FATO government in Ibocha here. Um, I would like the Minister of Information or our Prime Minister to connect or because our people have been asking about how can they be got the ID card? How can we be got the ID card? Because there is no any of our government that we are related to or are close to us and we are many in Faga local government in the Guacha River State here. So that is my question. How can we get in touch the government okay. concerning the registration okay. of the ID card okay. so okay. that we can okay. Opa, you have been in yes, this. You have been in this program as long as I can see your hand up, <laughs> and you are still asking about the de facto government ID card. The people in the homeland are not going to be part of this ID card at this point. So this ID card is open only for their friends in diaspora. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you so but much. What, you, what, but... what is open for you, which is more compulsory for every uh, Biafran? Is for you to register for your data, to, you know, give your data to Biafra government, and then also vote for the Biafra referendum. So, as you your data, you are voting for Biafra referendum. And that's the way it is. So that is very, very important that you people must mobilize Biafras to make sure that we see twenty something million above. That is our target. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I am the one. I am also the one that is always. I know. Right. I know. I know you. I know you. <laughs> Thank you, my prime minister. Thank you so much. We are behind it, sir. We must. We must achieve it. Thank you so much, and Mr. Information. Thank you so much. Um, uh, the media team, the media team, uh, Minister of uh, Communication. You, you guys need to know how to do uh, yeah, hands that are up here, so that. Uh, uh, this will end the otherwise. Uh, uh, I'm here. Can you? The, the last hand, uh, last hand there is no. no. After that, no, no more hands. I'm going to monitor it now. Go ahead. Okay. Pian, good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Ajiri. 
good evening, good evening, good evening, all the other uh, PM, I have two questions to ask. One is uh, about this database. The people we that is that are living in a living here now, if we want to register now, and our family is back home, are we going to register ourselves and our family back home? That's one. That is the number one question. Well, uh, if you're for, because you need to be where your family members are in order to register them because you need to take a picture of them to upload okay. to a picture. So if you want to help them, you can help them to fill the, the registration form online because of uh, you are better computer literate. But at the same time, uh, you can't register them uh, while you are not there. So you have to register them so you can take their picture, the official picture for Gmail to be able to store that information so that, uh, you know, uh, we don't have a duplicate of uh, people registering and taking pictures here and there. You understand? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. And the PMP, second one, please. I am, I am from uh, Agua City. And uh, I, have, I wrote so many messages to you. I wanted to, I tried to speak to you. And uh, the reason why is because uh, I've been asking questions. I was in, a, in the Anioma group before the struggle. I was in, I was in the, in the last meeting and the other meeting uh, before you passed that judgment. And ever since this struggle started now, I have not seen any work going on there. And I have, even now, I just finished meeting with them before I entered this place. They are now discussing that uh, this is, the, they are now, they are discussing how to put the uh, positions. Why other, other people map is everywhere. So I'm asking them now, what exactly is going on? Because the man that was there before in that uh, 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 animal group, the man is, is with every village and the communities they need to draw the map. And I'm asking them, where is the man? Because PM did not start this one. PM only said that the other man should take over that animal. Instead of people to contact this man. complaint of uh, Agbo State. No, no, no. Yes, yes, complaint of Agbo State. Because I'm just coming from, uh, uh, from the meeting now. Okay, you're coming from the meeting to and uh, did you uh add this thing in the meeting yes i i asked them there and they told right, me that so they, they are planning them, you, wait, you wait for them to come up with what they want to come up with you cannot just have a meeting with your group and come here to start complaining about what no 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 BM, BM, wait wait the truth, the truth is that uh, the man you told to leave the other group they are pushing the man out but the man now they're looking for community name and other 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 people. But this man have everything, and I told them, why can't you call this man? You all work together so that you can get this map. Why other nobody people have will, their own Nobody map? will push the man that I appointed out of the state. So don't uh, don't call me and make that conversation. I have had you. I will wait for the Agbo State uh, Group Executive to present their man. That is that. I'm not going to be listening to a side talk. What you just did here now is what we call side talk. So I went for the executive of Agbo State to submit what they have and uh, we'll take it off from there. Thank you. So then you need to learn first that people coming up, you don't be asking any other question apart from the data, this database. Any other question apart from database, you remove the person. Okay. Yeah, good, good, good afternoon from here and uh, our PM. Good afternoon, greeting from here. Greeting to members of the cabinet and all the friends. I just want to remind us uh, am I coming out? Not That's right, I'm coming out. Okay. I just want to remind us that. The database and the ID card registration guide will still continue tomorrow for those that are here with the same link so that they can save it. And I believe the last day we see will be on Sunday. So I just want to remind everyone to make it easier for them that tomorrow they can still log in with the same link 
uh, to the part two of the data base and the ID card registration guide. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Finance. Please, any other person that raised his hand, I'm going to be lowering your hand. No other person should raise their hand again. I said it, the last person is techno. Thank you, my minister. Go ahead. And a quick clarification, uh, just a second, a quick clarification for tomorrow's program. So tomorrow's program is not precisely uh, the part two, but rather the same uh, uh, presentation, but for the people in a different location. So we're going to review this process again, but we are targeting those in America, uh, sorry, in Australia and Asia because of the time zone. Thank you very much. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone, fellow dear friends, and then especially to my PM. I, I thank God for your life and I thank God for everything. I really applaud uh, the Biafra government uh, in exile, all your efforts to get to this point. That's number one thing. I really applaud you for that because. For all I know, to get to this point, having a data base is a big project. And I know that I give you uh, an uh, accolade for that. And then about, uh, I want to ask about the self referendum thing we are talking about. I know that the enemies will come, come and uh, say no to referendum. I'm asking, is there any way? And at any time, any, during the time as we are voting for the referendum in the database, any, is it the way that any no will be tracked? At least for us to really prove whether they are their friends or not, or whether they are full of that will come and uh, impersonate. Uh, so that's my question. Way to track them to really know they are, whether they are their friends and they will know. That's my question. Uh, thank you very much. Like I said, those who have no be investigated, they are uh, leaders who investigated. But at the same time, remember, this is a, democrat a democratic process. Some people will not agree with you. So we have a one or two person that will say no. So we have but however, we don't expect any government at this point to say no to government. So once you say no to the referendum or no to the referendum, we know that the red line uh, will make the government to investigate information is submitted. So no matter you are, to a certain way that you are to the referendum. So the government will have the right to deny you, irrespective of voting yes or no. Government have the right to say you are not the referendum based on the information is submitted to them. So that is submitted and the information does not. Be an express the affront. So, we have the right to say with the information you have submitted so far, we do not uh, accept that you are, we do not believe that you are the affront, subject to more scrutiny after the declaration of the affront staff. The uh, future uh, collection of data in the later, uh, in the later years or later days. So, so yes, everybody has the right to say yes and they have the right to say no. But then, I said the government reserves the right at this point to you know to say that with the information is submitted so far, we may not be able to verify it. And that is final to further notice. Thank you. And remember, Apomara Omara, Apo Ofeke, Ofeke Uh take it like this if you know. No, yes. Uh, good evening, my PM. Um, my PM, I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you for all your executives, especially for this December, this Christmas, the way it was quiet. Am I coming out, please? 
Okay, yeah, this Christmas, the way it was quiet and everything just went where people enjoyed their Christmas. And I hope this is the work of the different government in Ezra. But many people will not know that. I just want to say, you guys have really done well with our, our military at home. Yeah, the question I want to ask is um, about people who have kids uh, in diaspora. Uh, what what will be the... Hello, please, somebody, somebody is talking on the background. Okay, um, I'm asking like some of us in diaspora who have kids in diaspora, uh, what would be their means of identification? Uh, like uh, maybe birth certificate or something like that. And uh, my second question also is um, uh, that one has been answered partially because um, I, I already now find out that if you don't have a uh, Nigerian passport is not a means of identification. And if you don't have a proper document in wherever you're residing, uh, it's not, you don't have anything to identify you. Uh, you have to only uh, register for the referendum. So that one is uh, un well understood somehow. But then uh, our PM, another thing I want to suggest is uh, let us have like an open evangelism in the street to um, let our people know what is going on. Because a lot of people are ignorant of what we are doing. A lot of people in the street, they don't even care. They don't know what is going on. So we need to have an open evangelism in our places where we, are, where we, are, where we reside to let people know about this referendum going on so that we'll have a lot of people that will vote for this, uh, register for this uh, referendum. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, it is the work of everybody who is a Biafra to carry this particular awareness to every cranny of Biafra land to make people understand uh, that they need to, the time has come. That's a cry of many years, decades. The solution has come, and uh, we are taking the bull by its horn. So it is the responsibility of everybody to do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, my PM. I'm, 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 I'm calling from South Africa. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? So can you uh, bring in somebody else, please? This uh, which your coin is uh, making noise. So bring somebody else. Good evening, my PM. Good evening, Barawa. I have been patiently waiting for my turn for a very long time. Nevertheless, I want to first of all uh, commend our PM for what he has been doing for us. I want to bring my commendation from my mother, who is um, 60 something years now. And I'm I'm speaking from a place called Unkalago. I don't know where it's far from in uh, Odebon State. Um, a very long time we have not been going to farm until you guys came in and did a lot of wonderful work. I remember the time I did a farm about uh, um, 18 plots of land. The cow came and spoiled them, and nobody did nothing. So right now our people are going to the farm and doing things and nothing is happening. Everywhere is peaceful. Thank you for that. My question is this. I don't know whether it's a where 
my own state falling. I don't know where I belong to because it will be um, a very bad thing for me to deny me contribution for the journey of liberation of the Africa at this time. Please, if anyone can help me to identify where Atua and Kalago falls for, and secondly, how I can get to support. I think uh, from tomorrow, we're going to make number available. You're falling under the old uh, the official local government, right? And by Dalu Lineno, Muleno Kuan came out of Melifa. When I look on the fair Daiko, the Yakuko, Cobruni Femota. Una Nifa Neku, or Brunuki Femota Venedon. A Juqueda and I see on Chetaquen Yab Eastern is twenty four. I see when I would tell on Cosia do Kemba. Nanibo. A Ducosi be a Jedap no Guba. A Jedap Bono. I am much the Yozo to the Quenya comment on the commission below. Thank you for joining us today at Eastern News 24. Kemesian on the bye. Umibo. Dalun.